Hey everybody, it's Steve. I just want to talk really briefly about the Error 53 code that has been, you know, getting a lot of talk on a lot of YouTube channels, uh, a lot of uh, tech websites. And a lot of it is, I have to say, is very, you know, just disheartening what I've been reading because there's just so much misinformation from that this is unfair of Apple, that it's not really a security measure, that it's just some way for them to get more money by uh, usurping, you know, the third-party repair facilities. And none of that is true at all. So let's just get into it really quickly. Is that if you're not aware of what Error 53 is, Basically what that is, is that, that a repair facility, whether it's Apple themselves or an Apple authorized repair facility or a third party repair facility that's not authorized, if anyone touches any of the hardware associated with the fingerprint scanner or the fingerprint scanner themselves, it will in essence brick the phone, meaning the phone will shut down and it's dead. It cannot be accessed. It's over. However, the thing is this, if that happens and it's an Apple authorized repair shop that makes that mistake, or it's Apple themselves that makes that mistake and accidentally bricks the phone by touching the fingerprint scanner area during the repair, you will get a brand new iPhone. And they will not only give you the new iPhone, they will pull all the information they can from the cloud and there you go, you'll be all set. The only thing for obvious security reasons is you would have to re-enter your credit card information because they can't do that, that information is not stored. But yeah, other than that, if you get your iPhone, which is an expensive piece of equipment, repaired at a authorized repair facility or Apple themselves, um, either one is the way you should be going. With something like an iPhone, you really should not be trying to skimp and save by going to a third party because often they don't have the knowledge that the authorized people do. If you go to an authorized place, you're not going to have a problem. Because even if they do trip this error 53, like I said, you'll get a new phone with all your information pulled from the cloud and you're good to go. Um, if you go to a non-authorized and they do trip and get the error 53 and the phone shuts down, you are totally out of luck because you're not going to get a new phone or your information back. You will have to buy a new iPhone if you want another one and try re-putting your uh, information back on there. Okay, but like I said, it's a lot of hype. This is an awesome security measure from Apple because the whole point of it is to prevent somebody from, like if they have a buddy that works in the repair industry, you know, from someone stealing an iPhone, saying to that person, hey, you know, let's try to get through the fingerprint scanner, put a new one on, or jury rig it and somehow, this error 53 prevents that. So really, if you're an iPhone owner, you should feel extra good about this because this is an awesome level of security to have, really. And honestly, I think you will see other manufacturers like Samsung introduce something like this, a fail safe like this, you know, to prevent anyone from trying to bypass the fingerprint. So yeah, like I said, this is a lot of hype. Don't worry about it. Um, if your phone ever needs repair, you know, I understand sometimes repair facilities can be far away and it can be a hassle getting to them. And yeah, I understand wanting to save money. We all do. But really, you know, you don't want to skimp when it comes to repairing an iPhone. You want to get it, you know, the care it deserves at an authorized repair center or Apple themselves. And you do that and you won't have any problems. You won't need to worry about this Error 53 glitch. The only people that need to worry about this Error 53 glitch, honestly, are thieves and people with bad intentions. So yeah, don't worry about this and don't believe all that hype you're reading and hearing about out there because it's just that, it's a lot of stupidity and people not really thinking about what they're, you know, saying about what this is about. So yeah, any questions, please feel free to, you know, let me know in the comments. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll talk with y'all later.